We head for the bottom half of the ninth inning. And Randy Johnson 24 up 24 down the last perfect game thrown by a National League. Was El Presidente Dennis Martinez with Montreal back on July the 28th 1991 against the Dodgers only six perfect games have been thrown in National League history and you see only four since the turn of the last century Jim Bunning. Of course, now a state senator from Kentucky, Sandy Koufax, did it against the Chicago Cubs on September 9th of 65. Tom Browning, a perfect game against the Dodgers in 88. And then Dennis Martinez against the Dodgers in 91. Bottom of the ninth inning, and DeRosa to lead it off. A slider is down low for ball one. Randy Johnson, 40 years old. Last year, only pitched in 18 games, had a 6-8 and eight record. His knee was surgically repaired, and many wondered when he came back if, A, he could come back from a surgically repaired knee, and could he still be effective after turning 40 years of age in September of last season. Well, there's been very little doubt about that this entire year. And tonight, trying to throw a major league and perhaps final exclamation point on that question or question. Exactly. Any questions? If you've been watching this game, there are no questions. This guy has been unbelievable. And that's not the right word. It's, it's astounding. There's so many superlatives you can use. Bouncing ball to Matt Cato on two hops. He gloves, throws to Hillenbrand. One away here in the bottom half of the ninth inning. Oh, baby. Beautiful pitching. Strike after strike after strike. 107 pitches thrown in the game tonight by Randy Johnson. 80 strikes, 27 balls. Nobody up on the top step. That's interesting. Probably superstitious down there. Usually you'll see a bunch of people on the top step of the dugout. Fastball strike one to Nick Green, the rookie seeing Randy Johnson for the first time tonight. He hit a little roller at Cintron and made an excellent play to throw him out. And nobody on the top step. Swing and a wow. miss on the slider at 88 miles per hour. He gets some 97 mile an hour gas and then an 88 mile an hour slider. That's a good fastball for most guys. That's Randy's slider tonight. Johnson looking in and the 0 2 pitch. Slider at 90 miles per hour. Call that a strike. That's a strike. Johnson, the five-time Cy Young Award winner, once in the American League, four in a row as a Diamondback in the National League, and it took an injured knee to probably keeping away from winning five in a row last season. You're right. And pitched well enough to be in the contention so far this year. One, two. Fouled out of play, first base side. Well, you saw the Diamondback dugout, nary a soul on a stop to, uh, top step. Just about everybody up there over the railing and watching on the Atlanta side. They know they might be witnessing history. That's interesting, though, that the D-backs, not one guy. Strike three called on a 97-mile-per-hour <laughs> fastball by Randy Johnson. He is one out away from a perfect game and the crowd stands at Turner Field. Oh, Tommy, I can't breathe. What a beautiful pitch right on the inside corner. 97 miles an hour. Randy Johnson, for all his accomplishments in the major leagues, the five Cy Young Awards, a co-MVP along with Curt Schilling in the World Series in 2001, all the big games, has thrown a uh, no-hitter, never a perfect Whoa. game. And Eddie Perez, a pinch hitter, is down a strike. One of those 86-mile-an-hour sliders right on his back foot. Eddie's been on the bench all night. He's finding out up close and personal what the rest of the Braves have been seeing tonight. 0-1 oh to Eddie Perez. And a fastball is outside. That's a strike. It's 948 here in Atlanta, 648 back in Arizona. And Randy Johnson, an out away. 
from a perfect game, the first since 91 in the National League. And now he's a strike away. It is rare a visiting player comes into Atlanta and gets a standing ovation. But that's exactly what Johnson is getting <laughs> right now, and not one of his teammates exactly. standing that's, up. That's, for him. that's great. Listen to this crowd. One, two to Perez. Fastball high at 97 miles per hour. Once again, right where Robbie Hammock wanted it, up and out of the strike zone. Perez able to lay off, but Randy's just put on a clinic of not only stuff, but location. 949 now in Atlanta, 649 in Arizona, and a 2-2 to Perez. Yeah! Swing and a miss, and Randy Johnson, at 40 years young, has thrown a perfect game, the seventh in National League history. Oh, look at his teammates out there, Marvin and Tommy. Oh, that is awesome. What a way to start a road trip, baby. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than oh, that, does it? I've never seen that before. I want to go down there and jump on him. Come on, Tommy. Let's go down there. 13 strikeouts tonight for Randy Johnson. And needless to say, a spectacular performance by one of the game's all-time greats. Uh, it was a pleasure, Tommy, to watch this with you. Listen to these Braves fans. That is great. And I hope everybody's going just as ape out in Arizona because you've seen history tonight, folks. Big time history. Could he come back from the bum knee? Could he get people out the way he used to at 40? Need you ask any more? Well, ask Eddie Perez. Gas right by him. Randy just a point upstairs and a fist pump. And watch this bench. You think they weren't nervous? <laughs> Richie Sexton leading the charge out. 117 pitches for Johnson, 87 of the 117 for strikes. What a look at the big fella smiling. Robbie Hammock coming up, giving him love. Take your helmet off. You're going to hurt the big fella. Out of boy, Robbie. Look at that. Richie Sexton, the first guy there from the dugout. I can't see enough of this. Let's take another look right by you. Look at Robbie. Robbie's jumping for joy. Randy, a big smile. Oh, what a great moment that is. Let's I'm not it. even playing, Tommy. That's one of the best moments of my life. Let's send it downstairs to Todd Walsh. All right, thank you very much, guys. We just spoke to Randy Johnson. His quote was simply this, I'm tired. I'll talk to you in a bit. We'll hear from him on the Arizona Sports Report. But right now, manager Bob Bradley and Bob, uh, the understatement of the century. Randy was on tonight. Oh, man, I mean, everything working. Spotting his fastball, throwing the slider in the dirt when he wanted to, throwing it for strikes when he wanted to. Uh, Getting ahead of every hitter, there was really only a couple of at-bats where they made him work hard. Uh, Estrada, the catcher, had one green. The second baseman had an at-bat where they fouled off some pitches. But uh, other than that, that was uh, that's as good as it gets. This was a team effort, though, I think, to Alex Cintron, a play he made, Shea Hillenbrand early on, Danny Bautista with the basket catch. The, these guys wanted this tonight for, for Randy and for everybody. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, we even talked on the bench about whether we should uh, – bring Donnie Sadler in for defense but we didn't want to change anything it was it was going so good and uh, RJ was in such a great rhythm we didn't want to do anything to break that up what was it like on the bench in the eighth and the ninth inning where were you did you do anything special uh, my knuckles are sore from banging on Matt Cade's bat I was standing in front of bat rack and his bat just happened to be there right by my right hand and before every pitch from the sixth inning on I was tapping on that bat and uh, I'll tell you, for a perfect game and to win a ball game like this, uh, that's about as hard as we've uh, we've been grinding all year on the bench. Go enjoy the moment, you Bob. You got Renly. that right, Todd. Thanks, uh, Bob Brenly, manager of the Arizona Diamondbacks. Again, I talked to Randy Johnson. We will hear from him later. Also, catcher Robbie Havoc. These guys just wanted to be in the room to celebrate the moment. It has been a, a year with a lot of adversity, as you know, Tom, and they're soaking it up right now. We'll hear from them in just a bit. We'll send it back upstairs to you, Todd. Thank you. So Randy Johnson twirls the seventh perfect game in National League history, the 17th perfect game in Major League history. Two nothing, our final. What a night! Yeah, the biggest play tonight I think was uh, the one Alex got. I think it was uh, maybe Mike Hampton because Hampton's a pitcher that he's probably one of, one of the better athlete pitchers in all of baseball. And uh, you know, right out of the box, he hit that ball tapper and. 
he was he was running hard. Alex made a great play, and you know when things like that happen, uh, you, you kind of get a good sense after going into the fifth and sixth inning the way he was pitching. Uh, your only fear, especially in the outfield, is that there's going to be a flare or somebody a broken bat single and things like that. But I mean, uh, he was dominant. It was awesome to be on the field tonight for something like that. I'm I'm more excited for a guy like Robbie Hammock because he's a young catcher. And uh, that puts a pretty nice notch on your belt, you know, Hall of Fame pitcher and a young guy like that gets to uh, catch a, not only a no hitter, but a perfect game. And it's great for our organization. When did you realize that he was pitching a no hitter? Bob Brindley said he realized that after the sixth inning, you're catching him. When did you realize? <laughs> um, I, I kind of, I, well, I realized it pretty early. I thought to myself, no, nobody's even reached base in this game. So, uh, uh, I can't remember third or fourth inning. It was pretty early, but that's way too early to think about it. So I, you know, I just kind of let it go. Didn't think think about it anymore. But you, you you try not to think about those things. You just focus on each pitch and each hitter and, and uh, uh, pitch by pitch after that. So well, it wasn't bad for being 40 years old. <laughs> uh, I felt like you know probably with the humidity loosening your body up. I think any pitcher will attest to that that uh, you get loose pretty quick out there. But uh, I felt like my velocity had gotten only better as the game progressed, and my slider was as sharp as it's probably ever been velocity-wise. And essentially, I was basically a two-pitch pitcher out there most of the game uh, through a few uh, split fingers, but uh, not many. And uh, the, the job that uh, Robbie did back there was just amazing. Uh, I don't think that uh, I shook him off but maybe two or three times, and that was uh, probably in the eighth and ninth inning. Uh, but the effort that he gave back there, moving around and thinking back there, uh, was incredible. And uh, it's nice when you're on the same page as your uh, as your catcher. And and I really felt like you know he's cut some other real good ball games of mine. But uh, today, you know, just everything was locked in. We were executing. He was telling me to get my slider down when I had a hitter 0-2, 1-2, so I wouldn't make a mistake. And uh, we were elevating the fastball, and he knew exactly when to do that. And uh, you know, uh, he's, he's come a long ways as well. And uh, it was really, uh, it was really nice to see how excited he was after we accomplished something like that. He was jumping up, and uh, you could sense that he was pretty excited. And uh, and I'm really happy for him as well.